Hey guys, how's it going? This is Alex with Alex Gilbert Help, and it's been a really, really long time since I have not made a video. However, now I am making this one, and I am really, really, really excited because now we finally have the iOS 7 Untethered Jailbreak, which we have been waiting for like four or five months, I don't even remember now. So the last time that I jailbroke was when I was on iOS 6.1.2 and then I wanted to try iOS 7, the beta 1 when it just came out, so eagerly I did update to iOS 7 beta 1 and then I found out that I could not restore back to iOS 6.1.2, that I could only restore back to iOS 6.1.3 and so I, did, I was really frustrated because I could not jailbreak, however I was patient and now we have evasion for iOS 7 and I'm really excited for that. So guys, here is my Potouch 5th generation, you know that I'm on iOS 7, but I'm gonna go into general, right here, and I'm gonna go under about, and as you can see, iOS 7.0. I am not on iOS 7.0.4, however, it does work. I am on iOS 7.0, but as you can see, there is the iOS 7.0.4 update, and so uh, I'm ju I just want to say that the jailbreak does work for all of the versions of iOS 7. So guys, I will have the evasion jailbreak uh, link down in the description below that you can download for Mac and for Windows. And without further ado, let's get into this jailbreak. So you want to make sure that you have your iPod Touch or your iDevice connected to your computer as I have my iPod Touch connected here. And just double click on the program. And uh, just open Evasion 7 right there. Click on open. Uh, if you do not have your device connected before you uh, open up the program, no weak worries. Just open up the program, the program, and connect your device, and it'll tell you it'll recognize the iPod, uh, the iDevice model, and the version of OS. And as you can see, it says it is supported. Click jailbreak to begin. So it's a really simple jailbreak, no biggies. Uh, we can just go ahead and click on jailbreak, and let's see the magic happen. So as in previous jailbreak, it's, it's uploading the jailbreak data. And now some funny stuff will begin happening on our iDevice. And uh, I actually had to wait a little bit to calm down because I was really, really excited. And I was not in the mood of making a video because uh, I was <laughs> too excited. However, now I'm a bit calmed down. And so now I am making the video. So now it's injecting the evasion app. And it's the step one of two. And I am going to be fast forwarding through this so that you don't have to uh, sit through the whole process. So at this point, as you can see, uh, it put a uh, Evasion 7 logo right there. However, do not open it. I mean, I repeat, do not open it until the Evasion program tells you to, because otherwise you will screw your jailbreak. And a thing that I should have said uh, before beginning the tutorial is uh, do a backup of your device just in case anything goes wrong and you have to restore. And before uh, beginning the jailbreak, make sure you quit iTunes. So as you can see now guys, uh, it is telling us to continue. Uh, please unlock your device and tap on the new Evasion 7 icon. So now we just need to wait for our, our device to boot up and we can proceed to that. So just give it a few seconds, there we go. So just unblock it. And at this point we can travel to the um, we can travel to the icon and click on, on the Evasion 7 icon here. And as you can see now it's rebooting the device again. So let's wait for that. So as you can see now, it says to continue, please unlock your device. And again, let's wait for my iPod Touch to boot up here. Just give it a second. And there we go. We can uh, slide to unlock right there. And just <laughs> click OK on this. And so now let's wait and see what it tells us. So I already unlocked my device. Now it's modifying some roots. roots. And as you can see, still we have the evasion icon, and now it again uh, rebooted my device. So at this point, um, we can exit from evasion, and we are done in the computer part, and the rest of the process will take on our right device. So let's go ahead and jump into that. So as you can see now, it is reading the kernel, and it's doing some stuff on my iPod Touch. So again, I'm going to fast forward through this so that you can see it.
So as you can see now my iPad Touch did reboot and at this point we should see Syria on our device. So if you scroll to our last page, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm just so excited because I have been waiting for this moment for so long. As you can see right there, Syria. Oh, it's gonna feel so good to press it. <laughs> there we go, Syria. Yay, finally on iOS 7. Now we will have a Merry Christmas. <laughs> so again, um, as normal, it's preparing the file system. And as you can see, it's telling us that Syria will exit automatically when it is complete. So again, I'm gonna fast forward through this. So now Syria is done reloading the data. Now let's just wait for it to respring. My iPad Touch has not been respring in so long. So now let's go back to Syria again, and now it will give us the who are you. And normally I select user, cause, well, I actually do select hacker, cause uh, some more features are available. Uh, so now let's just wait for it to load and reload the data. And I'll be right back. So guys, now that Syria has uh, done reloading all the data and I installed all the essential upgrades, we can now open it up. And as you can see right there, it is loading perfectly fine on iOS 7. It still does not have the iOS 7 uh, look. However, as you can see right here, Syria is working. It says CTSS server below to request iOS SHSH. Uh, and I'll be making a future video about that. So uh, yeah, and also I want to make a future video about what tweaks are available with iOS 7 and what which ones are not. So, but as you can see right there, everything works, all of the themes, we can install that. If I go to manage, I have all of the sources right there, the primary sources, and I have packages, right there are some installed packages. However, guys, this has been all for this video. I really hope you did enjoy this tutorial, guys, and I really hope that you are as excited <clears throat> as I am for this jailbreak. And I hope you have an amazing day, guys. Please leave me down in the comments below what you think about this. Just share your excitement. And I really want to wish you a Merry Christmas, guys, and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye-bye.